Pilipinas, isang bansa na yari sa maraming isla kung saan marami kang pwedeng mapuntahan. Using a machine that will help you enjoy the adventure even more than a four-wheeled vehicle. Alam mo ba yon? Siyempre, wala nang iba kundi ang motor. Sino ba ang hindi nasabik bimiyahe? Karamihan sa atin ay bumili ng motor para pumunta sa iba't ibang magagandang tanawin sa bansa. Hanggang sa ito na naging kahiligan mong gawin. Naging hobby at minahal mo na mag-adventure sa maraming lugar kung saan biglang napahilig ka na sa touring. Dito ka na nagtaka, kung mahilig ako sa touring, dapat ang motor ko ay pang touring din, tama ba? Walang pinipiling motor ang adventure, regardless kung gamit mo ay dual sport or scooter, as long as you are having a good time. Pero iba pa rin kapag sangayon ang style ng motor mo sa hobby mo. So heto ka, sinerch mo ang mga sikat na motor na pang touring. At nakita mo ang BMW GS. Isang uri ng dual sport na motor na may ability na mag-on and off-road Pero kung kaya na itong bumiyahe sa mahabang highway na hindi nahihirapan Ito ay may mahabang lineage at heritage pagdating sa adventure touring Dahil ito ang nagsimula at nag-innovate ng adventure bike class noong 1980s Nung unang release ang first generation na GS Lahat ng journalist na sumubok dito ay binatikos ang bagong dual sport na ito dahil masyado daw itong mabigat. But they did not know that such weight will make the bike stable on the highway as well, yet capable on off-road as GS means Gelandestrasse or off-road and road. Naging pinaka-benchmark ang BMW GS sa lahat ng adventure bikes na nagagawa ngayon. At maraming kumpanya ang kinopya ang marketing concept ng GS gaya ng Ducati, Yamaha, Triumph, Honda, Royal Enfield, Suzuki, and more. At dito na rin nagsimula ang love at first sight mo sa adventure bike. Nandito na ang pakiramdam mo na kailangan ko ito para sa lahat ng adventure mo saan man sa Pilipinas. At heto ka na naman, sinasearch ang presyo ng mga adventure bikes at naggulat ka na ang pinaka entry level GS na mabibili mo ay ang BMW G310GS na naglalaro sa 300,000 pesos. Pero kailangan mo na expressway legal na motor. Kaya ang tanong, may mabibili ka pa ba ang adventure bike na hindi gaano malaki ang makina para magamit mo ito kahit araw-araw, ngunit expressway legal pa? At higit sa lahat, magaan sa bulsa pagdating sa maintenance. I believe there is one more cycle that can fill the gap. And you'd be surprised how capable it is without breaking the bank. This is the PRK502X. This is Benelli's first ever mid-size adventure bike designed for the global market, including the Philippines, targeting new and experienced riders alike by providing a capable adventure bike without breaking the bank or selling a kidney or two. Designed by the engineers in Benelli Centro Steel, Italy, and to reduce the price, it is manufactured by one of the biggest auto company in China called Xiangjing Group whom happens to own Benelli itself and Kiwi Motors. And to further reduce the price, the parts are sent locally to Cavite to be assembled before it hits showroom floors. At first glance, I fell in love with the aesthetics of the TRK. As I would have to confess, I love adventure bikes next to street nakeds. Kapag adventure bike lover ka, you would be surprised at dimensions and styling ng motor na ito as it seems to resemble the BMW F800GS. If you are someone a big fan ng GS pero tight ang budget mo for an ADV bike, then believe me, you will feel very excited just by looking at the TRK and imagine yourself na lumalakbay sa malalayong lugar gamit ito. 
without the guilt of paying a million or half for such bike. Kapag ikaw ay tight sa budget katulad ko, isa sa mga iniisip mong bagay when buying a big bike is the price, maintenance, and ownership cost. The TRK502 has two variants to choose from. There is the road version for 359,000 pesos which has an underbelly exhaust system and a set of 17-inch wheels with road tires. Add 20,000 more and then you have the off-road ready X variant with a set of spokes, bigger front wheel, metzeler tourance tires, and a raised exhaust system. Pagdating naman sa maintenance cost, katumbas lang ng 300cc and you can bring your own preferred oil to feed this mouthful cat as well. Everything about the TRK is big, as in literal na malaki, parang equivalent ng SUV dahil mukhang liter bike ang TRK with its rugged and manly design that follows the mainstream design of adventure bikes. This one includes the iconic front peak, kung saan ito dapat ang sumasalo ng mga putik at dumi na binubuga ng front wheel just in case that you would remove the front fender. Like any ADV bikes, mataas ang seat height ng TRK. My height is at 5'4 and this battleship size TRKX has a seat height of 840mm which can be very difficult for short riders like me. But kapag sanay ka na sa dual sport at magmanhandle ng big bike then this won't be a problem. If you are taller than me then you have no excuse to ride the TRK. Flip the ignition and the rudimentary dashboard comes to life with its analog tag and LCD screen that provides some of the basic information like speed, fuel, gear indicator, and trip meter. The switch gear quality has an average click and clunk. Sadly, it does not have any fancy info button or ride mode to bother about since it is an entry-level mid-sized bike. But at least the dashboard has a simple layout at hindi overdone or masyadong aggressive on design. It's perfect as it is. Plus, you have a USB charging port on the left side as standard. The TRK is powered by a 499cc liquid-cooled 8 valves double cam 6-speed inline twin engine producing 47.5 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and a healthy 45 Nm of torque as early as 5,000 rpm. Fire the engine and dito ka mabibigla as it sounds different sa ibang inline twin. As the TRK uses a 360 degree firing order kung saan sabay-sabay ang galaw ng dalawang piston but fires alternately, which is why it resonates the sound of a three-cylinder. But for me, it somehow resembles the sound of a boxer twin. Drop the hammer and you would immediately feel the character of the 360 degree twin. It has a strong torque and mid-range power as the engine pulls is similar to a single cylinder. Yet, it produces a unique brutish sound that you will enjoy along the ride. Since it pulls like a single cylinder, maganda rin ang traction ng makina pagdating sa off-road as long as you are using the lower gears. But go out sa highway and dito mo mapapansin ng isa sa karakter ng 360 twin. Mahina ang engine braking nito since malaki ang flywheel. Which means it will be capable as a cruising machine sa long highway since hindi mo masyadong kailangan pihitin ang silinyador. Simply let it cruise and fly. Unlike the other ADV bikes in this class, the TRK is equipped with premium parts which makes this cat even big and bang for the buck. Parts like a 20 liter fuel tank which ensures a long range travel and makes the body even big, along with a steel trellis frame to ensure rigidity. Long travel 50 mm upside down forks, strong 320 mm twin disc front brake to stop this behemoth. 
huge windscreen with an extension on the sides, plastic handguards, top box bracket, and an engine guard for the unexpected drop, and doubles as foot pegs as well while cruising. Now here's the negative factor for adding all these parts for a 500cc class bike. It makes the TRK big and heavy as this battleship size motorcycle curb weight is around 235 kilograms. It has the looks of the GS and weighs like one too but with a smaller engine. This can be an advantage and a disadvantage dahil kapag mabigat ang motor mo, mabagal itong marating ang top speed, lower acceleration, higher fuel consumption on the city, reduced braking distance, and you need to work hard in order to push this behemoth around sa city drive dahil mahirap itong isingit dahil sa dambuha lang dimensions nito. Another negative factor ng bigat nito ay magiging mahirap imaneo ang TRK sa off-road, lalo na sa trail, unless super experienced ka sa trail riding with a heavy bike. And the engine is not cooperating as well dahil known ang 360 inline twin to have more power on the mid-range. To compensate, the TRK used a bigger rear sprocket to convert that mid-range to use full torque down low. And since ang piston nito moves like a single cylinder, it vibrates like a single as well. Pero minimal lang. Kaya kapag sanay ka na mag-ride ng single, hindi na bago ang vibrations nito. In short, the TRK is really not that capable of pure off-road due to the engine configuration and weight. Rather, it can travel on light off-road without any issues. Sinubukan ko ito sa grass mounds and the suspension works well on those sharp slopes. The TRK can handle uneven roads and potholes for breakfast, lalo na sa kalsada natin. Go beyond the highway or expressway and dito mo makikita ang potential ng TRK as a tourer. Super planted nito sa kalsada na parang trend ng PNR. Unfazed by the wind dahil hindi ka pa rin ng hangin ng truck, side winds, tornadoes, or earthquakes. All thanks to its weight. Super comfortable ang TRK due to the upright riding stance and wide plush seat for both rider and pillion. The tall windscreen ensures that the wind does not blast your chest at higher speed. And the 360 degree inline twin lowers the engine brake helping the TRK cruise with ease at higher gears, in which it decreases your fuel consumption as well. The Big Cat is not the best on off-road, but it can handle our pothole-stricken roads and ride it for several hours on the highway without getting tired. Everything about the TRK works, and you would criticize the weight not knowing that the first GS had the same feedback as well. There are a lot of improvements to be made on the next generation TRK, but this 500cc Grand Touring motorcycle from House Benelli is more than enough for your daily needs of adventure. And the best part is, you can get to keep your kidney. <laughs>